Welcome back. Uh, it is still day one. I broke the car during autocross and have uh, got it fixed up. Where I left off was the car was broken. Peeled off the upper control arm mount for the SLA, but gotta love drifters, they uh, come compared. Uh, so we got it welded back together, hammered it out straight, welded it back together. Uh, I think it's going to hold, uh, so I'm gonna put it back together and see if we can finish out the, the weekend still got this is only the first day only the first event so i still got drag racing to do and more autocross and 3s so we're going to try to put this thing back together and uh send it you know what's the worst that can happen really i mean yeah drag racing if it let go then something yeah that could be bad so i might limit myself on the actual drag racing um but as far as on autocross yeah but let me get this thing all back together and we'll we'll see how it goes from there you know but yeah pretty pretty happy at the moment uh but time to get to work It is welded back together and we have drag racing tonight. So the grand championship has autocross, drag racing, and 3S. So we've done the autocross at least uh, one day of it. We got a whole nother day of it um, tomorrow, which I think I'll do and see how the car is behaving and everything. But I like to try to get at least one drag race run done tonight so I can get that at least under my belt and get whatever points I can for it. Cause if I get a zero, then there's no way of getting any kind of uh, of trophy or anything if I even can get into the trophies. I think right now I'm currently sitting like maybe seventh uh, or sixth in class. Uh, I've been as high as fourth in class and um, potentially could still get up there at least in autocross drag racing. I don't know, but I like to finish out the weekend at least, you know, make the make all the events. So I've Driven the car around, it feels okay. So I think we're just gonna send it. Why not? Let's do it. Going out for my first ever drag racing. We will see how this, how this thing goes. Not sure if I'm really gonna be able to, yeah, never really done a burnout, never really done any of this really before, so. And I don't have a tack. it off the line and then missed the third gear see mine was a 14.2 at 101.5 and the rx8 sam was 12.2 at 119 so i bogged the line and missed third wish i had my other shifter all right let's see what we can do on this one Oh, 
Well, that was much better. Yeah, RX-8 must have had a problem because that was a 13.5 for my run at 102. I think I hit Revlin right there at the end and didn't really feel like shifting right at the, I was like crossing the beams, I think right when I hit rev limiter in third gear. So much better pass still, you know, probably not quick in the grand scheme of things for uh, most things, but. Going up for my last pass down the drag strip. I'm in the right lane this time. Trying to best 13.5. We'll see how like that goes. down this drag strip uh, again by a AC Cobra. I kind of balked the launch in that one again. So yeah, that was a 2.2 uh, 60 foot. He had a 1.9, that's nice. So that was a 13.6, so a little bit slower. 103, I did shift to a fourth that time and uh, that felt a little bit better. But yeah, just a little bit slower. Pretty much all lost it in that, uh, that beginning area. The, the, the launch not very i think i needed to maybe up my my launch in rpm or something not quite sure it's just kind of bogged off the launch so and yeah it's not a drag race car it's not set up for this but that was pretty fun so we get to do it all again tomorrow if we want to uh, so i might might play around with the, the launch RPM or something and see if we can make it uh, do just a little bit better uh, launch or something. We'll see. Whew. Well, that wraps up day one of Ford Fest. Uh, autocross, broken car, fixing car, drag racing, going slow with drag racing. Uh, yeah, that was what eventful day that was I am I'm really beat uh, pretty hot and sweaty also at the moment it's definitely a little bit warmer here in Kentucky than I was thinking that it would be I was thinking it was gonna be like 50s at night it's definitely like 60s right now but uh, day one is done day two we get to repeat this all again tomorrow hopefully without breaking the car but repeat all the autocross and drag racing. So day two coming up. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.